Hey guys, uh, welcome to a Profile Tree Wix tutorial. Uh, today I'm going to be giving you a rundown on how to get started with Wix, um, how to set up a site, and just running through the basis. So yes, uh, let's go ahead and get started. So when you log in, uh, you'll be greeted with this sort of uh, page. Um, you're, you'll be able to create folders, create a new site. So we'll dig right into it. We'll create a new site. And you'll get two options. So you can either use Wix or Editor X. But just to make it things easy, we're just going to use Platform Wix. Um, so here it is. Um, it's asking what sort of website we'll be creating. So um, we'll just say that we're doing a gaming website. Well, a retro gaming site, we'll just say. Click next. And we'll just call it Retros. Perfect. So um, it then gives you this page where it asks you what you want to add to your site. So you can have a chat box, video, forum, online store, just depending on if you're creating an e-commerce or non-e-commerce site. And you've also got a couple of other options here with, with bookings, events, blogs, portfolio, etc. These are actually pretty good for um, just the, the traffic. Uh, if you're adding more pages, it's good for Google Analytics. So if you just want to look into that, but we'll focus uh, mainly on getting set up with the website. So um, I don't want to have a chat box no video, no form, but I would like uh, an online store, we'll just say. So we'll go ahead and click next. We'll create a, an e-commerce site. So there's two different areas here uh, where you can have Editor X or Wix ADI, and that'll be explained in a different video. But for the meantime, we're just going to use the Wix ADI. Perfect. Okay, so here we are. We're able to add. Oh, it'll give you the screen. Sorry. So um, you'll be able to have a logo, your website name. You can add uh, your email, your address, a phone. All uh, and you can also add a couple of social links, just depending on what it is. It'll know it straight away. Um, so we'll just skip past this. So the good thing about ADI is it'll just choose the sort of theme that you might want to go for as well. It'll just build the site for you. Um, so here it is. It's asking us to pick a theme that we'd like. Uh, there's Indie, Fuse, Spark, Fresh, Evolution, or Sophisticated. Um, sort of want to go for more of a retro look, but so we don't have any of the options, but we'll go ahead and click on one. I like the look of the Spark, so we'll go next. And it'll basically... Um, as a saying here, it's going to create three different design of home pages, um, as you can see. So we've got our first one there. We can actually scroll through and just have a look at what it looks. We've got profile tree retros again on this one. A little bit more of a minimalistic sort of look. And more of that sort of look that I chose as well. So I'll actually go for this one, as I like the look of that one. Perfect, so now it brings us to this sort of page. And basically it's just gonna ask you if you wanna add a couple more pages apart from your about services and contact. So you can have a reviews page, have a guides page, and then our contact, our about. Yes, we'll, we'll go ahead and add those. You can have an FAQ. What else do we have here? Our team. I donate. There's a couple of different pages. It'll come up as random. So we'll go ahead and get this site set up. Wait for it to load. Perfect. 
perfect once you get that little tick that's us ready to go um so here we are this is our profile tree retro site so um from the pages that we clicked earlier on so we're actually using adi so we're not starting off from scratch it built us a a website uh from us just asking questions and we'll we've answered them um here we've got our home our news about reviews contact guides faq and shop this is what we've clicked earlier on and as you could scroll you can see you can scroll down it's pretty much all built up there for you it's up to yourself if you want to modify it just change it to your liking um if you do want to modify a couple of areas there is um our little sidebar here and that contains our ad elements section menus pages site design ad apps business media and content manager but mainly you want, would want to be focusing on these three sections here or if you want to change the whole site design you can do um, we'll just do that retro vibrant there you go so that that'll change the entire website for you without having to individually click on a uh, a page so and then if you also want to add a couple of like areas to your site so we'll go ahead and do this now you can add sections from there you can click on the sort of ones that they already have as you can see so you've got a couple of options there or you can add a blank section depending if you want to customize it and then that's mainly good for if you want to add your own elements so that could be with a gallery so i'll make a little mock-up now so if add section create a, a little blank section so we'll have one under the products you can add your your elements and uh, we'll pick one this is a little slider there that should come through perfect there you are and you're able to modify that stretch it to how you'd like but obviously just just be careful of this little area of the gray boxes as sometimes it won't show on the, the site since that's your area there as you can see um you can stretch that out for the margins just so you can't see it or you could just have full margin which would be zero then there you go and yes um if you are satisfied with the site and you just want to look over it just to make sure how a user would see it as a, in a perspective you can preview the site there you are so that's the little area that we created our little gallery and it's actually a functional gallery as you can see and the little products they have here as well and yes um it's not just the desktop view you can't view from you can also view from the mobile as well so depending if you want to make some changes to layout as you can see it's actually created our layout for us and um, there you go as you can see So yes, that about sums up how to get started on the site. Um, if you guys have any other questions, uh, any questions at all, just leave them down below. And yes, um, thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time.